Okay, thought I'd do one more video explaining the kitchen. So let's start with the pantry. This pantry will have four trays in it. And it's going to be, I think it's uh, 21 inches deep. Yeah, 21 inches deep. And then it has one, two, three, four doors. Crown molding touching the ceiling. I'm probably going to run the, uh, put the cabinet so it's flush up against this wall at the end of this corner over here. Then I can return the crown molding against that, against this wall right here. We've got a refrigerator panel on each side of the refrigerator to give the refrigerator a built-in look. Refrigerator cabinet that will sit just about to the end of the carcass of the or beginning of the carcass of the refrigerator. You can see the doors are proud of the cabinet. This cabinet here is a going to be used for cookie sheets on uh, stored on a vertical. The door is going to swing open to the left. This cabinet door is going to swing open to the left. We have a super lazy Susan cabinet with a tray, two trays that look like this in this cabinet. We have a cabinet with a drawer and a door. It's a base cabinet. I believe this base cabinet just has a half depth shelf and I'm correct. This is a half depth shelf. That'd be this cabinet here directly to the right of the stove. Then we have an easy, what they call an easy reach diagonal or easy reach corner cabinet. This is on a bifold door so there's a hinge here and a hinge over here. It's going to swing open to the right. Then we have another cabinet where the doors swing open to the right and swing open towards the microwave. We have a cabinet over the microwave with two doors. And we have a bank of four drawers to the left of the refrigerator, um, the stove. And we have another single cabinet with two doors. One's, one door swings this way, the other way, the other door swings towards the microwave. And then we have another easy reach corner cabinet, just like this one over here. Okay, like I said, that this is the corner cabinet, which is wall corner cabinet, the same as this wall corner cabinet. Then we have a single cabinet here, single door. Uh, wall cabinets will have adjustable shelves in them. These these wall cabinets are all 12 inches deep. This cabinet here is deeper; it's 24 inches deep, and I'm going to cheat it off the wall. That's why you see this little void right here. This, this cabinet here is 15 inches deep, 42 I believe wide, so it's a pretty good size cabinet. And I don't think it'll look funny if it's uh, 3 inches deeper than the other wall cabinets. It's going to block the window a little bit more. but. Uh, I think there's a benefit to using that so you can get your dishes in there. 
Then we have another Super Susan with two trays that look like a Pac-Man that spin independently. Then we have a, a 12 inch, I believe this is 12 inches wide with a door and a working drawer. And we have a 36 wide sink base dishwasher. This is another Super Susan, but it's 33 inches instead of uh, this this Super Susan here and the other one in this corner behind this wall is 36. <clears throat> I only have the space for a 33 over here. And then this cabinet is a base cabinet with a drawer and a door and I put two rollout trays in there. That's this cabinet here. And then right here is your trash pull up with two bins, trash bins in a working drawer on top. I think that's the lay of the land. If um, I can be more specific, if you have any questions about anything, let me know. I'd be happy to go over any detail that I have not done as I should. I will give you a formal estimate based on this design and the door style and finish that you've selected.